Okay, so hi, good afternoon, everyone. So it's me again. So um, if you could still remember, uh, we were able to discuss how to do an interactive slides using Google Slides. And now we will be discussing about online gamification. Okay, so we can actually link our games in our presentation. So just like this one. Okay. Um, see if I uh, click that chair over there, it will route me to. Let's just wait for a while. There you go. The play. So, this is the hangman or the snowman challenge. So, just uh, the topic is actually philosophy of education, if you can read that over. Um, so, what are the philosophies of education, right? The, the essence. So, let's just try uh, with this essence. essence. So, with, the, with this, we can say that the word is existentialism. Shall listen. Yes, well done. Great. Now, another one. So, another essence. So what if we were wrong? We don't know the word. So let's try. So what happens? See, it says too bad. And you will see, you're, you'll notice it, the score and the smiley face one and then the sad face one. Let's try to finish, okay? It goes off. I think there's only four words that we need to guess. See? Too bad. Perennialism. So you would see the smiley face on one point and the sad face two points. I think this is the last one. Let's make this correct. Let's try. What is this? Okay, see, it's construct to the sound. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Well done. You found two out of four words. So, see? That's it. So, we will try to put in the games, okay, um, so that your, your class will be able to um, interact first before the discussion. So, okay. Let's click on the board. And then let's click on this one, insert link. Okay. And then let's choose. Um, this one. So I will just have to copy the link, this one on top. Copy this and paste it here. Right. Okay. So it's already there. And um, how about the game that I have earlier? So it's also here. So once I click on the board, it will show the, the video. It will route you over to the video, like this one. See, so the our presentation will be more interactive with the, with the help of the links, right? So that one. So now, how do we make the games, right? So what we're gonna do is actually just log into your book, which is it's actually just um it has a thirty days trial okay and um if you want to upgrade to a paid subscription it's around 49 dollars per year or nine dollars per month so it's really up to you but for me this is really a good application and it's it's making um see nine dollars per month 
you can cancel monthly or forty nine dollars per year. So it's really up to you if you want to upgrade it. But if you're no longer using it, then uh, you're no longer using it, so it's fine. But it's very this app is very friendly, and yeah, that's it. So you your students can also freely uh, view your presentation. So this is actually good. So if you can see, they just need to download the widgets and then just let them see this. Just give them this code and they will be able to answer and play. Um, game that you have created okay, and you will also see their responses so there is also um, the responses will also be in your profile okay so let's um i will teach you now on how to create one okay so let's create a little bit oh, sorry see as uh, so what you can see you can create a test review games picture videos math embedded third party yes miscellaneous so this is very friendly it's a very good app so let's just try this okay this is called randomness that's the name of the game so i want um before we will be discussing for example a different topic then I want each of my students to be creating their own sentences or what we can do during a synchronous session we can do this okay i can let them uh, create their own own sentence right so as we can see here general and then there's 500 and then there's two so the wheels i've added four photos And then English, the design, it's really up to you if you want to uh, create design. So this one also, um, you can create text, images, or groups. So if I like text, like let's say it's going to be a word per line, right? So how about um, who and Sunflower and hello and lemon. Okay. Okay, so let's click on preview so that we'll be able to see what the students will be. Um, the the students side or the preview on how the students will be able to see this right, so, see? create a sentence so, let's click spin so they will be creating uh, a sentence out of this i've already uh, crafted or uh, placed some image on this right so there's classroom and there's a lot of books and then there's the word group. So, to your students on how they will be creating a sentence out of these images and words. Okay, so, if you're actually doing a synchronous session, then this is very friendly. So, here, if you, if you like to add more, definitely you can just add uh, images. You like um, letters. very friendly because we're just um, 
searching everything in photo lab. Okay, then let's click preview. This is how the students um, will see it. So let's click spin. So there's a man and a woman rigging, sun, sunflower, and then the, the rumble letters, right? So during a synchronous session, and, um, if you play this, then you'll be able to craft, right? Craft your own. Uh, sentences to see things. So, uh, how about another one? Let's try a different game. So, here, so here are my sample widgets the some games i've already created and last modified so i've edited some of these so i have philosophy of education the hangman version the snowman version uh there's a short code wherein you can share this to your students so that they can answer and then i create the sentence uh, it's not yet done i did not publish it yet so once you've published it um you will be given a link so that link okay you can save that you can link that to your website or for us we can link this in our e-learn in our modules okay so let's create a new one uh let's try the jigsaw puzzle so the title of the puzzle uh, Let's say child development. Okay, image is a child. So it's very easy because there's a like a step by step process or something. So you will just follow it. Okay. Um, try this okay okay uh, let's show him so this that sentence yes localization yes it's english design um design Colorful. have this mm -hmm. it's here okay so let's see just click on preview so that you'll know the the students speak and let's wait for it a little bit see 
so they can um, it's very hard right it um, it actually consumes time but this um it's okay it's fine this is fine This is fake. Okay. Uh -oh. And then this one. Yay! And let's share this. So that you will give the code to your students. Okay, so just copy the link. I actually put it in Bitly. I don't want the, the long URLs. So, create. And then, trial development. I'll just change this to template. So, see, um, the custom link has been taken. So, child games. Child. There are also some child. Okay, so in my subject, it's HE7 play. See? It's unique. So, just have to copy this one and go back to your slides and then, add, and then wherever you want to add it so just click on the link here and then paste the file so this one now sorry so this one is now an interactive page see so if you click on the story i will edit it later on at this one, see what I think, and this one. See. So, in just one slide, just one slide, you'll be able to attach everything that you will need. Okay. Just need to edit this, and then that's it. That's it for today's discussion. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.